Welcome to Minority Report, and I'm your host, Lachelle Smith. Minority Report is a video blog celebrating Black-owned businesses, and on this episode of Minority Report, we are filming from Crawdaddy's Restaurant in Bayou Bar. Tonight's event was hosted by Justin Coleman, President and CEO of JCNA Financial LLC, and his co-host, Roy Galloway Esquire, a law firm of Roy Galloway. And tonight we were talking about how to avoid using crowdfunding to finance your funeral expenses. We want to try to get away from that. We always hear the saying that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So we need to find other alternatives and be a little bit more proactive when seeking out how to go about burying our family members and also just wealth building and, and things of that nature. So what I want to know from you, Justin, is what are the documents that a person needs when they, I mean, you know, we throw it out there, have a plan, have a plan, have a plan. Yeah. But what are the documents that a person needs to establish a financial plan? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, a lot of people are interested in setting up a financial plan mm -hmm. for themselves, but the foundation is really getting those uh, initial documents together. So the first thing they need, what we need to look at is their budget. You know, we need to see the money that's coming into the household and the money that's going out of the household to see what their spending habits are. So what's so that, that payroll? What is that? Bank statements? Yeah, bank okay. statements um, and just their budget. You okay. know, the money that they have coming in from their employer, um, we need to see what that looks like and then what, what are they spending their money on? You know, what bills do they have to pay? Mm -hmm. um, are they eating out five days a week? Or, you know, do they do a chicken lot of cooking? Waffles. Chicken, you know? <laughs> chicken and waffles. So that's, the, that's the, the beginning phases, seeing, you know, where their money's going. Then after that, any accounts that they have set up, whether that be a 401k through their employer or any other uh, financial plans that they have in place, I want to take a look at those as well to see if they're um, good plans or if we need to make adjustments to them. Real quick, I'll never forget, one of my first clients uh, were my parents, mm -hmm. and they had a life insurance policy that they were paying on for about 20 years, and I said, you know, I, we're putting together a financial plan for you, I need to review this. Right. And what we found when we were reviewing it, their policy was going to lapse at age 70. Okay. So this is a policy they had been paying on for 20 years, and it was going to lapse and end, so we had to fix that for them. Okay. Okay, yeah. so gathering all of that information is critical, or at least like putting them in like a fireproof safe, or yes. like where you want to keep all that information. You don't want to just have it in like what a briefcase. What's the best place to keep the, keep these documents? That's a great question as well. So a safe is good. A lot of banks have safe deposit boxes mm -hmm. um, that you can purchase that are very inexpensive that you can put these documents in. Or, you know, if you have somewhere around the house that you are keeping documents, you definitely want to make sure that um, either your children or another loved one know exactly where these documents are. Because, of course, if something will happen to you, you want to make sure they know where to go to re retrieve these documents. Okay, so then we're talking about financial planning. We're talking about wealth building. The same time of year, here we are again, is income tax time. Yes. So give me, like, what are some practical ways that you can take your income tax, you know, refund or whatever they want to call it these days? What's a good practical way to put that to some kind of use? I mean, a lot of times individuals get their income tax, they get excited, they want to go out and buy new things for the home, set up vacations. Right. But what you should really think about doing is think about the debt that you have okay. and taking care of some of the debt because a lot of times your debt carries interest mm -hmm. and that interest just keeps accumulating. Okay. So you want to pay down your debt. Um, so you can really pay down that interest. Mm -hmm. And then um, look at some of the other things that you might want to take care of. Managing your risk is very important. A lot of people don't think about that. You know, the risk of a premature death or the risk mm -hmm. of a disability. Thinking about managing those. If something were to happen to you, making sure that they're taken care of. So there's a lot of insurances that you can take out to life insurance, for example, to manage the risk of a premature death. And a lot of times you can take care of your premiums with your tax refund. Okay. So I said those two areas would be very beneficial. So give me some um, advice that you would have for a person who is maybe like in their 20s, setting up a financial plan versus someone who started out later who may be in like their 40, 40s or 50s. You know, how can they go about establishing a financial plan? Yeah, another great question. I think it's really um, thinking about your future really what you want out of life and setting up a plan to address your future goals and, and aspirations. To give you an example, you know, when you think about us, we're younger. Mm -hmm. Our parents and grandparents could depend on three different sources in retirement. They have Social Security, right. a lot of them have pensions, and they have their own money that they save through their 401k. Right. 
for you and I, that looks a lot different. You know, a lot of companies don't offer pensions anymore. They don't match. They don't match. Right. There's a lot of questions around Social Security. Mm -hmm. So that puts the onus on what we're putting away ourselves right. even, even more important. So, you know, you really want to think about when you're younger, you know, I really got to think about putting money away for myself because I might not be able to depend on Social Security or the pensions that are, are uh, that, you know, my parents so and grandparents have had. Right. So, and then individuals that are old, older, same thing. You know, just thinking about what age do you want to retire? When you retire, what amount of money do you want to have coming in during that retirement phase? And really putting a plan together on how you want to get to that goal. So it all has to do with planning and meeting with a professional to help you with all that. And you are the expert. So when it comes to financial planning, if you can't do it yourself and it's something you can't Google, yes. then we can look out for you. So then tell us, Mr. Coleman, how we can get in contact with you. How can we get some of the services that you provide? Where are you located? Let people know. Sure, I'm, I'm located right here in Harrisburg, PA. Best thing to do is just give me a call. Mm -hmm. uh, my cell phone number is 484-300-1633. Very easy to remember. Right. Very personable. I make myself accessible to um, the public and anybody who needs help. And I'm just passionate about helping others. Mm -hmm. You know, um, very passionate about helping others and seeing others be successful in their financial situations. And I'm so grateful for you being on the show and just talking about wanting to leave a legacy, not wanting to leave your family members in any kind of debt, putting them in a position where if you're going, then you have something left for them and they can try to carry on as much as possible as if you were still here. So I appreciate having this event tonight, yeah. you and Roy and pulling us all together so that we can continue this conversation and encourage people to establish financial plans for themselves. So I want you, I want all of my Minority Report followers to consider creating a financial plan. If you need some assistance, we have Justin here who will be able to help you. This is Minority Report. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.